Hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my playthrough of Age of Engineering. So, oh my god, all my machines are gone. No, <laughs> I've decided I'm going to upgrade the power a little bit um, because I don't plan on processing our ores with this, this setup that we had here forever. So what I wanted to do was go from a bat box to this. It's a CESU. Now, if we look at that, the, we're going to require this as well, a transformer, in this case a low voltage transformer, because the CESU outputs 128 um, EU per tick, which will blow up all of our low-end machines. The LV transformer will take that 128 and kick it down to 32. The transformer is easy, it's mostly wood. One of these coils, we built a bunch of these already, um, iron ingots surrounded by copper wire. So that's a really simple build. A couple of insulated tin cables. Again, absolutely nothing we haven't already done. The CESU is a similar, oops, a similar situation, except the thing that you might get a little bit hung on how to get through, here's your CESU. It's just bronze plate, more bronze, copper cables, is this sulfur dust now lead dust lead is a not common but reasonably common ore in the overworld um it's that purplish looking block this stuff okay that's your lead ore so just simply melt that down or crush it and you will have lead dust now sulfur dust easiest way to get that is let the sun go down come out here and wait for creepers because as long as you have gone into here and claimed the chunks on your property you'll notice it says explosions disabled so as long as you survive the creeper blast everything around you does you don't have to worry about going and looking for creepers where they're not going to blow up everything and he got and all of that they won't so gunpowder is really easy then you simply take the gunpowder and you put it inside your extractor same thing you use to get rubber and it will give you sulfur so there you are nice easy way to do things okay um, that other thing you see out here I actually made myself some bog earth which is just uh, sand dirt and a bucket of water and uh, ooh, maturity a hundred percent so I can actually harvest this now and it will give me peat but you need to put it within two blocks of a water block the bog earth itself and then over a period of about a full minecraft day it will slowly turn into 100 percent matured which if you whack with a shovel i don't really want to i don't have any well it's okay you'll find it gives you two things two chunks of peat and a bit of dirt so yes i don't think i have any bog earth to replace it do no. Oh, I do so. Whoops. Come here. So yeah, this is uh, a project for a little bit later. But there you go. You put your bog in earth, your bog earth in, and like I said, after about a day, it becomes that. And the that will actually give you your peat, which we can use in peat-fired engines and stuff like that. So, there we go. You actually go over here. Be fine. All right. Um, you don't, of course. You just go back there. And in fact... Now, all right, so what we're going to do, we've got that CESU and we've got that low voltage transformer. So, the low voltage transformer, I could use that dirt block back, mate. <laughs> there we go. I'm actually going to set there. Now, the five dots that's the input so on top of that we're going to put our CESU and the CESU 
has a single hole, which is exactly the wrong way up right now. Um, to see a little bit more of it. Ooh. We'll use an axe just for the heck of it. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. So that's probably got everything Oop, all the way around. Now, I don't have any more soil. Of course I don't. Okay, word of warning, doing this stuff. Always carry a couple of pieces of dirt with you. All right, there we go. All right, now. We get all these nice outies, so. I think I wanna actually run those back here. Let's get some cable going on. There we go. Now. I do believe that this, though, needs to point towards me. There we go. And now we can get... Generators. Oh, actually, no. That's got to... Uh, that's got to point down, because everything else is... Oop. Ah! Should be right. Okay, that's going up. Now, the machines I want are definitely an extractor. Uh, metal former's gotta be there as well. And a compressor. So, metal former. Compressor. Extractor. And you've got power, you've got power, and you've got power. So. Okay. Do I have anything? Hmm. Oops, might as well actually take one. Sure, we're doing all right here that this doesn't just drain down. Yeah, very slowly pulling a little bit of power out as it uses it. Now it's building back up, so I take it this has done its job. Oops. Yes, it has. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that on extrude? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, we have some HV cable now. Should we ever <laughs> require it for anything? Hmm. 
Yes, indeed. Okay. So now we should, I think... That, that, there we go. Now she's really boosting up. I suppose actually I could move the one from the top over there, or this one even. That one's almost out, so I think I'll do that. Come here. Alright. There shouldn't be any issues with anything else on this line now. Okay. So there we go. We've got that part of that done. Very nice. Let's fill in a few of these so we don't fall down the hole. It's not right. Now it should be right. That's, uh... All right, they're not draining. Okay, because I think I need to have this guy happening. I'd actually rather have it out that side and maybe go with two generators, but we'll see. We can change that as we go along. So now we want that induction furnace. We're also going to want a lever. So the induction furnace. We put that there, it starts filling. Now, we'll want a lever, pop that on the top, and turn it on. Now this will start to heat, it's also going to start to draw power. There we go, 1%. So yeah, this thing is going to be uh, pushing pretty hard to keep this guy going. But, this thing will process like a mad bugger. Indeed. Now, like I said, we will be changing up the macerator, but, uh, yeah, I guess for the moment, um, we will be using that, so I suppose I should put it back. Uh, there we go. And you're not coming up. Why? Oh, the extractor went down on power too, eh? But you're definitely going up. So, the issue is here. Dang. It was probably right the first time. Oops. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Okay, that's still going up. You still don't have power, though, do you? Hmm.
I need to see what's going on. Alright. So. Okay, now it's putting out to there. Question, though. Oops. <laughs> Why you no want to play my game? Okay, come on. Why are you not playing right with me here? Oops. Alright, that's certainly not going down. But this one is. It is heating up, but it's not getting more power. Have something that'll run a little longer here. So let's do this. Hmm. That's definitely dropping, so they're not getting power. Okay, certainly getting power now. Alright. No, this guy's not. It's climbing. It certainly keeps up with this, no problem. Okay, that's just run out. So is this going to start going down now? Nope. Okay, so obviously that CESU is providing the energy for these through the transformer. that generator's out of the way, so it's definitely not just connecting there, nor is it putting out power to that. So these are hooked up okay. Um, I 
Oops. Hmm. Doesn't seem to like to do that either. Well, I don't know why this is becoming such a ting. But these are definitely perfectly fine, so they're happy enough with that. See, all the rest of these surfaces are the same. And they should, I think they're all inputs, so if it's only got one output, <laughs> that's not going to help, is it? What I'm going to have to do is drop that down and run a second lead before it gets to it, that's all. So, I need another wrench. I don't have enough bronze. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So let's go make some, shall we? But let's, uh, let's actually make it with tin instead of, uh, Which we call it aluminum. Oop. There we go. I've also been working on a project in the back. And uh, I'm going to turn out, or see how it turns out before I show you guys how to actually build one. But, oh, I have a little bit of molten bronze, four ingots worth. It's all right. We'll have a little more in a moment. So yeah, I've been working... <laughs> working on this back here. It's a really neat thing, but it's... I'm not sure how practical it'll turn out to be. It's the, the water wheel. And uh, that's something that we're introduced to now that we're into the calculator age. And it requires a kinetic dynamo, a bunch of wood wheels, and it generates RF. Well, actually, it generates IF. See? 256 IF. And, uh, I don't have one on me. And then you can just make your little telephone poles with these wire relays and move that IF wherever you need it. Because it is basically RF, so we'll be bringing it into this building. But the reason I haven't continued is I'm going to make this a double waterfall. When I put the second one in, I'll show you guys how it's done. Hopefully by then I won't have to do it nine times. It's kind of a finicky thing, because if you mess anything up, you basically have to scoop up all the water, knock the wheels out, start from scratch. So yeah, it can be a little finicky. However... Boy, you can tell it's been a long time since I've played with IC2. Some of the things I'm doing here are just nuts. All right, have we got enough then? One block, seven ingots. That's enough. Let's at least have a block. I do have an ingot cast, but that's okay. There we go. There we go. And three. Four. Five. Six. And the last one. Seven. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. There we are. Alright, I need a wrench. I do, I do, I do. Boom. Just because I know we're going to be playing with this stuff. <laughs> and I never gets it right the first time. 
All right, so let's get rid of you. And I hate to do it, but let's get rid of you as well. Now. Yeah, one should be enough, I guess. So let's take this guy. And pop him down there. Cool. And then we'll get rid of that. We'll do that. Nice. Ooh. Okay, that's not quite gonna do what I needed to do either. Not quite, because I don't want to be putting the, uh, <laughs> what you call it, right against there. Oh, actually, maybe if I just simply do this. There we go. That's easier. Now it won't connect to that, will it? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. So... Okay, yeah, we definitely got no power at the moment, so... Oh, I didn't want to put you right on top of there anyway. That was the whole idea here. What am I doing? I'm thinking I'm still stuck in the same spot, but I'm not. Because I actually wanted to do that. There we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, uh, of course, we're not going to be doing that portion of it at the moment. Now, let's go back to our CASE. Okay, we now have power there. So, we should also have power here now. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Are you on? You are on, so you're going to start heating up right away. Now, without any issue at all, I can put a gen there. I can put a gen there, and we should be good. Beautiful. All right, well, it was only stubborn for as long as it needed to be, and then it turned out to be just perfect. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Wump. Wump. And wump. All right. And now we have an induction furnace that's capable of 9% uh, heat, 10%. Okay. Much, much, much uh, quicker processing. Now, right now, that doesn't seem too quick, right? But as the heat goes up, that's going to get quicker and quicker and quicker until this thing will just boom through stuff. So, and by having that on, it will stay heated once it is heated. Okay. Of course, it takes a little while for it to come up to temperature might come up quicker if we don't uh, don't make it do stuff all right okay so that's all good we've upgraded our power we're doing pretty darn good um, okay these guys and for oh no they haven't run out juice at all. Compressor's good, but it's out of cans. How can it be out of cans? These aren't getting any heat. 
wonder why. These are absolutely full. Zero. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we're out of iron. <laughs> oh, man. That's <laughs> just brilliant. That's all I had was 37 iron. Are you serious? Wow. Okay, that's not so... Oh, there we go. We got an entire nether. There we are. Whew. I've had iron in here for so long, I've forgotten what happens when you don't. So you can see. There we are. Uh, steel ingots. And slag. How are we doing on steel? We've used a little bit, but nothing too crazy. We got 183 steel ingots. I think we're probably doing pretty darn good, actually. All right, so we've increased our power dramatically, and that's a wonderful thing. They said there's nothing terribly, uh, terribly difficult about it at all. It's a pretty simple, straightforward process. And the only thing that might have caught you up is how to come up with sulfur dust, and that's all you have to do. Kill yourself a couple of creepos, throw them in there, and the next thing you know, well, sell for dust. All right, let's have a look at our book and see what we should be doing other than just blithering on like an idiot. Calculation age. Now I am making peat, yes, yes. Coal generator, we have that. Atomic reconstructor, got her. Kinetic dynamo, I've built one of, and I will show you how to make another. Uh, solar flux, I don't really care. Energizer, Enervator. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let me put some of this away. So let's make something a little different here. There is a tool, where are you, that I have one of, had one of, there it is, an engineer's wire cutters. And what you do with these guys is you can make a different type of wire. Now I need coils, coils of wire actually. So. And it's this type of coil that I need, right? This type of coil, LV wire coils. So for that, I need copper wire and treated sticks. Now, treated sticks are pretty easy because all that creosote oil, if you uh, put it on a crafting table, in a, put planks on a crafting table in a chest pattern, and throw a bucket of creosote in the middle, it'll give you eight of these treated blocks. We showed you how to do that earlier. Now, the treated sticks, I think I've got a couple more, seven. All right, well, that's here. Let's just grab a, a quarter of a stack. That'll give us a half a stack of sticks. Okay, now, um, ooh, there's uh, higher end coils as you go along. So we need these, but we need electrum. Oh, oh, 
Electrum wire? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, copper wire. <laughs> Whew, cut me the wrong one there for a moment. So we need four of these copper wire around a stick. Now there's two ways to get this. These nice shears, or this unit, which I'd really like to build at some point. I think that would be cool. A metal press, eh? Hmm. And a mold for wire. That's really neat. Because each ingot will give you two. Right now, every ingot of copper I use is only going to give me one of those. So, and again, all you have to do, let's uh, take these and take, let's say these. Oh, right, we have to make plates out of it now. It doesn't work that way anymore. That's an old recipe. So, let's take these. Alrighty, there we go. Now we should be in business. I've lost me pliers. Ah, <laughs> there they are. Alright. It gives us, as I say, copper wire, but it only gives us one for one. So it's a bit of a rip. Um, but then we take these guys. Put them around here. like so and it'll give us four of these so let's grab all we can because these are the wires that you not only use to string between all your poles but you also use them for making things like these copper coils which you require for a lot of the crafting in that end of stuff so once we have these, we're going to want to take it all down to a capacitor. Um, actually, there is one other type of storage block. No, not the Tesla coil. Um, Capacitor bank. Oh, I think this one might be block of redstone. Capacitors are enriched gold. We can make those. Empowered restonia. Uh, we can't make that. Okay, at least not yet. Wooden capacitor, stone capacitor, ooh, RF engine. Okay, we can make these Anori crystals, Restonia blocks, and a couple of gold ingots. Hmm, the other faces. Really interesting. Why doesn't it say? Well, I would assume it's RF energy. Out of iron, it's basically the same thing. We need another block of iron. Hmm. Interesting. Where's that uh, very cool book that I just made? Let's see what it has to say. Okay, kinetic dynamo. There's your windmill. Also runs faster. Well, we'll have to try building a few of those. Water wheels. Improved windmill. Ah. Well, we can get industrial. We've already got all kinds of industrial hemp. It's interesting. Hmm. Okay. The 
thermal electric. Constant in plates. Stealing it, so that's okay. Temperature gradients. Oh, I guess you would put a block of lava on one side and a block of water on the other, maybe? That's easy enough. What's this stuff, though? Constantine. Hmm. Okay, lightning rod. Charge tools. I'd actually like to have a tool charger for EU, to be honest with you, but there you go. Hmm. Well, how about then... Uh... Okay, and calculator mod. We have the little power cube. Basic greenhouse is something we will want to get into building. We're going to need those, which are just a couple of different um, CO2 generators. Hmm. Well, I don't really see what I'm actually looking for here. There is uh, extractors, redstone extractor, glowstone extractor. All right, well, the basic greenhouse we are going to want, but there is some um, better ways to store energy as well. And that's something I'm going to have to look into because I don't see the more common ones that I used to know anything about here. <laughs> uh. hmm. Well... I will definitely have to look into this a little better because I don't, uh, yeah, it's not going to be in the IC2 stuff. It's going to be in redstone or uh, RF storage. Hmm. Turbines, power capacitors. Here we go. These are, oh, gas turbine controllers. Those aren't them. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to figure this out, guys, because I know there is, um... Oh, here's your different peat-fired engine. Something we're going to have to look into building. Copper gears, yeah, definitely easy enough. Hmm. All right. But I think I'm going to call it there. Next time around, we will, uh, figure out how to start storing a little bit more RF power. And uh, until then, take care of each other, folks. And ciao. Just to uh, show you guys, the, once this induction heater is, or induction furnace is heated up, this is why I want it. We're doing two stacks simultaneously at like three or four times the speed we were doing single. So there you go. Take care of each other, folks. Ciao.